Hello, welcome. It's time to start a new weekly reading vlog because it is Monday. I have already had a very busy start to the week. So if you didn't know, long story short, the house that we are living in is selling. My parents own the house, but they don't live in it. We live in it and they're selling it. So this morning we had the photographer come to take photos of the house. Basically the next few weeks are going to be really hectic because they're going to have open houses and just try and get this house sold. And we also have to find a new place to live. So <laughs> I'm a bit stressed. So it's already like 1 p.m. I have to leave for work in an hour. So I figured, okay, I'm gonna take this small amount of time and start this vlog. So first things first, I just got a package in the mail. This is another birthday gift. Um, I know who this is from because it says it on the front. This is from my friend Lourdes. Oh my gosh. She just always spoils me and she told me to expect something. So <sighs> the blessings. Let's open it. Oh my goodness. It's in one of these weird, like, square vacuum. I don't know what you would call it. Oh my gosh. So this is Australia Day by Stan Grant. I actually have already read this and I gave it five stars, but I listened to the audiobook. And I was mentioning in a few of my videos how I really wanted to own a physical copy because I just really want to just basically highlight and annotate the crap out of it because it was so, so powerful and meaningful. And I think a lot of people, especially Australians, can take a lot from his books because he is an Aboriginal Australian man and his books are just phenomenal. So thank you so much, Lourdes. Oh my gosh. Truly, truly so happy to have this in my possession. Okay, now moving into what I plan to read this week. Last week was pretty slow reading wise because I was just watching like BTS, Bon Voyage, series one like over and over again but i'm determined to get back into the swing of things i will say i i am gonna be busy uh today tomorrow and wednesday because obviously today i was busy this morning and i'm working this afternoon then tuesday and wednesday i'm working a split shift so i'm working morning and afternoon so it's gonna be pretty hectic but then on thursday and fridays i'm just working afternoon and then we have the weekend but they might be doing an open house on saturday <laughs> anyway <laughs> So this is my plan. So this week my friend Kayla and I are buddy reading The Mister by E.L. James. I got the audiobook of this so I'm just going to listen to a section a day every day for seven days and then every day uh, we're going to discuss it. So today I have to read until chapter six page 84. I've already started listening to it but I've only listened to about 20 pages so I don't really have any thoughts so far but I will let you know. So yeah, gonna be reading a little bit of this every day this week. And that's the only book that I'm gonna push myself to read over the next three days because I won't have time to read anything else. And the spare time I will have, I need to spend finalizing this week's videos. But I'm planning for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm splitting up all of the other books I have to read into four sections so I can read them by the end of the week. So I'm in the middle of What Happens Now by Sophia Money Coots. I'm 130 pages in, so I will read the rest over the last four days of the week. Same with The Magnolia Sword by Sherry Thomas. I'm 55 pages in, so I've split this up as well. Then we've got my reread and annotation of Harry Potter. I'm four chapters in. And then I really want to read Of Ice and Shadows by Audrey Colthurst because this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year. So I have not started this one yet, but I plan to read it later on in the week. The only other book that I'm in the middle of is Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, but this will have to be put on hold this week because I was listening to the audiobook and obviously my audiobook for this week has changed to the mister. So we can just pick this back up next week. So hopefully if all goes according to plan, I will have finished all of these books by the end of the week because I am seriously running behind on my newts so I have I think eight prompts left that I really like want to complete so I'm hoping that I can read like four books this week four books next week so if we read all these we'll be a book ahead so let's try our best but that is it for this update. I'm gonna go get ready for work now and import this footage and start editing. Ugh, the work never stops. Hello. So it's already Friday. I have been so busy this week and just so stressed and tired. So uh, yeah, I've only really now had the chance to, hello, sit down and chat with you guys. Hello. 
you've got dirt all over you my goodness also someone commented on my blackie origin story and said that blackie might be a bombay cat and then i looked up bombay cats and it is exactly what blackie is he is a bombay cat like all of the personality traits just everything i was like oh my gosh he's not just a regular like domestic short hair he is a bombay so thanks to whoever pointed that out because ah, i'm so happy right now but anyways uh i have not gotten like much reading done this oh no well that's kind of a lie i am so close to finishing off the mister by el james <gasps> i'm shook and i am shook because i'm actually really enjoying it like i am so shocked right now but i'm buddy reading this with kayla and she's also really enjoying it so i will talk more about it once i finish because i have a feeling i'm gonna finish it today but i have like 60 pages left and it is really gripping like i can't put it down so yeah there's that and yesterday i was supposed to start like my four other books that i was supposed to read but i only ended up reading a chapter of harry potter before i fell asleep which is my life but i do have three packages to unbox that i've just been collecting over the week so let's open them so let's start with the amazon package i did place an order for something that i've wanted for so long and there is a very exciting readathon happening next month and it kind of goes with that so i don't know maybe you can guess what it is from that oh my god this is like banged up and it's not even the right way but it is Appa! From my favorite show of all time, Avatar The Last Airbender, there is an Avatar themed readathon happening next month. And I was like, well, this is the perfect chance to buy him. He's so cute. Look at his little face. Oh my God. I'm so happy right now. Look at him. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, the next package is from Shelf Defy. I am an affiliate with them and they make book sleeves, tote bags, mugs, a bunch of awesome stuff and they are sending me two items a month to share with you and I have a discount code that you can use. I figured it out. I have a separate discount code for book sleeves and then another discount code if you want to buy any of the other products. So I will leave them in the description if you want to check them out. But they have the highest quality book sleeves I've ever seen. They're my favorite book sleeves because they have a zip and a pocket and they have different sizes and different adorable patterns. And I just love them. So let's open this one and see what we've got. Oh, there's two in here. Oh my gosh. And they're in a little pouch. The blessings. So I got two different sizes. This is the first one. Oh my gosh, I love this pattern so much. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh. And it has the pocket and the zip. Ooh. So I can't remember what size this one is called. I will leave it on the screen though. But this one would probably fit the mister. The mister fits in it perfectly. And you just zip it up like so. And then the second one. This is, I believe, the biggest size that they have. So compared to this one, this is the size difference. This one has cats all over it. Yes. I'm so happy right now. So thank you so much, Shelfify. I love working with you guys. And I'm so happy to add these to my book sleeve collection. I should do a video on my book sleeve collection. Would you guys like to see that? And lastly, we have something that I didn't anticipate on buying, but uh, Katrina from Little Book Owl has one and I've just been eyeing it for years. And then I went on their website and they were having a sale. So how could I not? So this is the packaging. Ooh, mysterious. Let's open it up. What is it? The mystery continues. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what is happening? These are handmade. What the heck? So this is a Kindle cover. And this is a little information thing. But it is Harry Potter themed. And it is a book of spells. So this is what the front looks like. 
You can get these in your house colors, but I preferred the purple one. And then here's the spine. And this is the back and it is magnetic. And inside, look at this. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, and then you stick it on with this like adhesive pouch. <gasps> it is so cool. Oh my gosh. So I will leave the website that I got this from down in the description. But oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I'm hoping that this will like make me read on my Kindle more because I have so many books on there and I just like never pick it up unless I have like e-arcs or something. So that's my little haul. I'm so happy. So plans for today. I'm actually taking a mental health day today. I am just feeling really anxious about everything, especially when you guys won't believe what happened. So Lucas uh has lost his car it basically it wouldn't turn on and he took it to the auto shop and they said it's 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 done it's dead there's nothing we can do it's just done so they gave him 150 dollars for his dead car and now we only have one car <laughs> that's annoying and the timing is terrible and along with that I am behind on my video schedule I'm behind on my reading schedule I'm just like behind on life right now and I'm just I'm tired and I'm stressed I'm stressed I'm so stressed so I was looking for places to move this morning and I booked a couple of inspections so I'm going to check out a couple of places on Saturday and a couple of places next Wednesday. But I'm also stressed because we're having our first open house for this house tomorrow. So I need to clean and just make sure everything's good. And oh, it's just a lot. So yeah, I'm taking a day um, to myself today. I need to finish filming my Clockwork Prince annotation video and edit and upload that. Um, so hopefully it'll go up tomorrow morning and I might just only have one extra video go up this week I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is at the moment and then I'm just gonna try and read and relax So that is my plan. So yeah, that's it for this update Catch you soon <laughs>
good morning. So it's now Sunday and you won't believe it, I'm sick again. But I know exactly which child gave it to me, so. Mm. But yeah, I feel terrible, I feel exhausted for no reason. So I haven't been filming, I haven't been doing anything. So I'm really sorry that there were no extra videos this week, but that's, it's just the way it is. I think I need to reassess what I can personally do now that I have this job because I can't read as much as I used to. I can't keep making as much content as I used to and it's really taking a toll on me. So I think I need to just reassess a little bit of what I can and cannot do and produce. But let's, let's get comfy here. So let's talk about the newts challenges that I have left for my career because that's all I'm attempting to do from now on because we're running out of time and I have I think four challenges left for my career. So firstly we have my reread of Harry Potter. This is going really well. I'm like 150 pages in but it is taking me so long because I'm annotating it, I'm adding stickers and I'm creating my Harry Potter master list which is already so huge. So I think those like 150 pages have taken me like five hours <laughs> because I'm writing down literally everything and eventually I'm going to transfer all of that information into a journal. So it'll be just a journal full of all of the Harry Potter information you could ever possibly want to know and I'm going to decorate it and it's going to be amazing but I of course am waiting until I read all of the books otherwise I won't know like how many pages to have for each thing and Anyways, so I need to finish this and I think that's just going to be my goal for the rest of today. It is almost 11am and I've got about 150 pages left so I'm just going to make that my priority for today. So we have that and then I have three other books uh, to read for my career. We have Of Ice and Shadows, What Happens Now and The Magnolia Sword. Luckily I've already started two of those books so hopefully I can finish those three next week. But for now we're just going to have a Harry Potter day and just a chill day, a rest day. And I don't know how I'm going to tackle my work week. Starting tomorrow, <laughs> I have split shift tomorrow, starting at 7am. <sighs> Might have to call in sick, I don't know. Oh, I have read more of another book as well that I need to talk to you about. I am up to page 175 of the hero of ages because i have i mentioned this i also finished the mister um so that was the audiobook i was listening to so now i can go back to this because this is my other audiobook i was listening to so goodreads says i'm about 25 percent of the way through this so that's exciting i'm finally feeling like i'm getting a move on with this and it's quite slow so far but i am really enjoying it and i don't know if i mentioned it i gave the mister four stars like i am so shocked but I'm going to talk about that more at the end when I wrap up everything I've read this week, which will probably happen tomorrow. I also just want to shout out a video that I've watched that I've recently loved, and that is Alexa's digital bullet journal video. I'll leave it linked in the corner, but oh my gosh, it has made me really want to start a digital bullet journal. So I've like gotten out my old iPad mini and I'm charging it now to see if I can like start something because... Uh, she just made it look so cool and I have like so many notebooks and journals just cluttering up space that sentence didn't make sense so I might give it a go I don't know we'll see I would really love to spend a thousand dollars and get an iPad Air with the pencil and the keyboard oh that would be amazing but you know I, I don't I don't have a thousand dollars to pull out of my ass to do that unfortunately. So we're just going to see what we can do with my old <laughs> iPad mini. But for now, it's time to keep reading Harry Potter. Hello. So it's Monday so it's time to wrap up this vlog and it has already been a day let me tell you <laughs> but that is a story for another time. For now we're just gonna wrap up what I read and then I'll probably go take a nap because I feel terrible. Hey what's the matter? 
Hop in your bed. Hey. Come here. Do you want to hop up there? <laughs> She's trying to sit, but Blackie's taking up like the whole chair. You're so cute. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> so this week I read two books. So let's talk about them. So first I read The Mister by E.L. James. I really shockingly enjoyed this. I gave it four out of five stars. So let me tell you more about this. So let me put it down because I am exhausted and cannot hold up my own arms. Can, cannot, cannot. <sighs> so this is about a man called Maxim and just before the story begins, a couple of weeks ago, his brother died on a motorbike. Mo I cannot talk, in a motorcycle accident and he was the Lord of Trevethic. So upon his death, Maxim inherits his title, his lands, his estates, everything that comes with that. And then we also follow Maxim's cleaner, who is an illegal immigrant who has escaped uh, a scary situation from Albania. So we have two characters coming from very different places and it's basically their love story and it has a lot of sort of thriller elements in it because of what Alessia is escaping from. So that's the basic premise. So firstly, the writing is such a step up from Fifty Shades, like huge difference in the quality of the writing. It's not perfect, it's not amazing, but it's definitely very readable and I personally found it really gripping. I could not put it down. I loved how both of the characters um, played the piano and, and also the main character Alessia she has synesthesia which is really cool. Some other things I really enjoyed is that it features consent which I think is very important especially coming from the author of Fifty Shades of Grey it was very nice to see. It also had great sexual tension, great chemistry between the characters and Maxim was very flawed but he acknowledged his flaws which was nice but things that i didn't love about it um it was kind of annoying being that classic damsel in distress story where he is constantly saving her and i don't know how accurate the albanian representation is but i couldn't find any own voices reviews so i'm not too sure on that but overall i really enjoyed it if you want to know the trigger warnings i have them listed in my goodreads review so i will leave that linked in the description but i ended up giving it a four out of five stars i think it was really fun really enjoyable and for newt's challenges this one got me an acceptable in arithmancy which was to read a book that ends on an even page number and i also read this for readathon of the soul which is the bts readathon that's going on at the moment and this was for boy with love to read a romance book all right moving on i did it i finished my reread of harry potter and the sorcerer's stone Oh, I feel so accomplished after rereading this because it took me so long, but I really enjoyed my reread this time around. I loved just jotting down all of the Harry Potter stuff. I loved annotating it. I loved adding stickers. It was just a great experience and I cannot wait to reread the second book, which I'm going to be starting on the 1st of September, which is kind of fitting because the school term at Hogwarts starts on the 1st of September. <laughs> but anyway, this was to get an acceptable in Defense Against the Dark Arts, which was to read a book with black under the dust jacket because there is this edition and I did like for half of it I marked all the Hufflepuff related stuff but then I kind of forgot so yikes kind of failed but I'm still counting it for that challenge and for readathon of the soul this one was for microcosmos to read a book that means a lot to you so those are the books that I read this week I did not read any of the other three books on my weekly TBR but that's fine they will be my priority for this week again I'm really sorry there were no extra videos this week I did just receive my two owl crate boxes so I will do a separate video for those just so you can have a little bit of extra content but yeah that is gonna be it for this week's reading vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you soon in a new one. Goodbye!